A judge will hear a case tomorrow challenging the privacy of Georgia's new voting machines. 33,000 of them have been delivered ahead of early voting starting next week for Georgia's presidential primary. 11 Live's Doug Richards explains what's at stake in the lawsuit. Doug? Well, Cheryl, among other things, the lawsuit cites a story that you undoubtedly watched on this very newscast a few weeks ago, which raised concerns about whether the secret ballot is really a secret. I don't have nothing to hide. <laughs> Pat West was able to laugh at the visibility of the voting machine that he'd used in a special election last month in his rural South Georgia community of Pinehurst, as did his wife, Carol. And, you know, somebody behind you could actually see how you were voting, not that it really mattered to me, but, you know, it, the privacy was not quite as much as before to me. Other voters navigating the state's new voting machines told us they could feel the eyes of poll workers or other voters behind them as they cast their ballots on the new bright upright touchscreens. A lawsuit says the machines plainly violate Sumter County citizens' rights to absolute ballot secrecy and urges the county to use hand-marked paper ballots instead. Georgia law says very clearly is that absolute secrecy, secrecy has to be guaranteed, and they're not guaranteeing it. In fact, they're flouting it with these gigantic screens. The Georgia Secretary of State has told county election workers to configure the voting machines toward walls in the upcoming presidential primary, so the screens can't be seen from the interior of the room. A spokeswoman for Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger called the lawsuit a silly and desperate attempt to interfere with Georgia elections. Yet the concern about the new machines is real, says State Senator Elena Parent. The screens are very large, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, except that you can apparently see how everyone's voting across the room. So absolutely, we've got to take action to ensure the privacy while individuals are voting. That lawsuit was filed in Sumter County because folks there are voting right now in a special election runoff. But the rest of the state gets its first crack at the state's new voting system Monday when early voting begins in Georgia's presidential primary. All right. Thanks a lot, Doug.